Let's talk about a couple words that I've learned from white people. So, being in a lot of different corporate, nonprofit settings, I picked up on this. White people say problematic and advantageous all the time, and they act like these are really, really high level SAT, GRE words when they're really not. But to the average person, they may sound that way. And that, my friends, is the mediocrity that happens. So don't think just because you know a couple words and you went to college or you went to grad school that you're really that much better than everyone else because you're really not. But I will never forget. One time I was working as an RA at Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore. Shout out to The Wire. Shout out to Carmelo Anthony, Michael K. Williams, Michael B. Jordan, you know, all those people. It just Elba. All right, I'm done. But you get it. You get it. Shout out to B. Moore. So anyway, while I'm there, we're in a meeting, and this is around the time that Michael Jackson passed away. So he's on everyone's mind, and we all decided, hey, for the kids' dance party, we should probably do it as a Michael Jackson theme party. So I'm thinking, all right, that's cool. And then at one point, the leader, the president of our committee, stands up and says, okay, are there any objections to any of the party plans that I submitted to you earlier? And this one guy, let's call him Jared, a white dude, he gets up and says, are we married to the idea of a Michael Jackson themed party? Because I don't know if he's the best reflection of what we should be teaching our kids. And that's how he talks. So when he said, are you married to that idea? I was like, yo, that's some weird shit right there. But then when I started thinking about it, am I married to the idea? Am I even engaged to it? Good language. So that's, that's one right there are we married to something? But then there was another meeting and we had a party the following week and it was supposed to be Janet Jackson theme because we just wanted to stay in the whole Jackson ecosystem. So the president stands up again and is like, does anybody have a problem with us doing a Janet Jackson theme dance party? Jared gets up again and he's like, I don't know if I can get into bed with that idea but maybe it has some promise. Maybe I should just hear some more things. When he said get into bed with that, I was like, what? What is this craziness that you speak of right now? But I gotta admit though, this shit was kind of hard. So sometimes when I want to be really over the top and somebody asks me my opinion on something, like, like take Kevin Samuels who recently passed away. Someone might ask me, yo Dev, how do you feel about Kevin Samuels? And I'll be like, I don't know if I can get into bed with most of what he has to say, but every once in a while he says something worthwhile to me. But mostly, I don't think I can get into bed with that. It's kind of like Dr. Umar Johnson. Like, I respect the black man, but I don't know if I can get into bed with everything that he says, but I see where he's coming from.